When you're looking for a job, most people these days are turning to the internet, but while you're looking at a new employer, they also could be looking at you. SNN's John Woodruff tells you how to make sure they like what they see when your name is in the search bar. Different previous work experience. Um, all your personal information. Brian Kohlberg knows what potential employers will see when they type his name in the search bar, and he isn't worried. I, I've uh, enjoyed my previous careers. Uh, all the information that comes up has always been positive. For others, their social media past is filled with regrets, which may cost them a job. Employers are looking at this as an opportunity to go online and see if, you know, there might be some unflattering posts or photos about somebody to make sure that you know, this person particularly fits their, uh, their, their office culture. Jamie Conley is a regional vice president at staffing firm Robert Half. He says if you're on the hunt for a job, you may want to lock down your profiles. They would probably go into their Facebook, adjust their privacy settings, uh, you know, go on to maybe their LinkedIn account, adjust their privacy settings there. For some of us, our Google problem isn't about hiding anything at all, but more about standing out which can be difficult when you share a name with someone famous. A search for John Woodruff brings up pages of information on the 1936 Olympic gold medal winner, and reporter Chrissy McClarty has to contend with David Arquette and his girlfriend of the same name. Doing positive blogs, um, you can also, uh, on people's blogs, you can go on and, and write positive comments. And by doing that, that'll obviously kind of get you up the pecking order in, in a Google search. Reporting in Sarasota, John Woodruff. SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And if you do have a less than flattering digital footprint, it's best to be honest with employers and be prepared to do a little explaining in that interview.